Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our series. So, in the previous one, what we promised we shall focus on today is a bit of power. We do want to extend this uh, little reservoir that we have here as well. We do also... Oh, there is a bit of a flood still in here. Uh, I have noticed that there was a couple of levees missing. So, yeah, they are a pretty, pretty high priority right now to get it fixed and make sure that we don't flood this area like we did a few episodes ago. All right, so the reservoir, yes, that's going to hopefully get a bit of an upgrade. Now, besides that, the metal production, well, it's only been a few days. So, yeah, we, we don't have a lot right now, but we shall have more in the future, of course. Now, the next thing we uh, were hoping to do was expand our food resource uh, storage options. So we have a couple of warehouses that we can do here. I haven't really marked the resources, still kind of figuring out what the exact layout will be. But um, yeah, after that, we also do want to move out the district center itself as well. Now, the problem with that, what we noticed in the previous one was that we we are going to lose the access to most of those buildings in here and even the warehouses as well. So we might have to move some, I guess, the ladders around just a little bit for the time being. Let's um, connect you up with the roads. We can now... Oh, no. This house is going to complain for a little bit, but oh well. We shall fix it up very, very quickly. Okay, this one we don't need. You slightly higher priority. And now all the roads are connected up as well, so that's good. Okay, we can leave you be for a little while now. Now the next thing we do want to start doing after that... Well, there's a couple of things. Uh, right, power is something we have started building a few wheels. Yes, they are not connected just yet, but I would like to, you know, have a couple more where the water is currently exiting from. So one is planned over there. We said we are going to build a couple in there as well. And what we could also do is we can create like a little channel over here so that the water that's coming down this waterfall is always going to go through the uh, water wheels on both of these these sides of the of the mountain last but not least we were talking about the district center itself as well and i started looking so with this area over here we do have one two and three levels which means by the end of a 30 day drought we will still have a bit of water at the bottom over here one thing i probably do want to do let's pause it for a second let's figure out how much more height do we Oh, okay, so that's uh, pretty much it over here. Okay, we can pause you as well. Let's take a look. So that's uh, so quite a quite a few levels. Okay, we'll leave you there for the time being. What I'm thinking is maybe we do want to raise this level a little bit because for the rest of the canal here, there aren't many sections where it actually drops to three levels. Yeah, except this one here. So what might be a little bit smarter is we do have enough logs right now. And, well, a couple of vacancies, but let's see. Do we... Hmm. No, I think we should have enough beaver ports as well. So yeah, that's something we are going to perhaps do in here. Let's do it in sections. So this side first. It is going to be a little bit trickier in the middle because we are going to lose access to our smelters but that's fine oh also you might have noticed there's a couple of blueprints in here and uh, i was trying to play around with the some of the design choices we want to go with and this one looks definitely very interesting with the side platforms that are four tiles long so essentially once we do have enough metal and that's going to take a lot of metal actually because one of those platforms is about 40 metal blocks so yeah, that's um, essentially what I was talking about in the previous episode. Um, the first level is going to be for the beavers to walk through, and the one above will be for the power shafts. So if this is only too wide, let's have a look. If we place a couple here, so that's too wide, will this be enough, hopefully? Or should we place you a little bit higher? Okay, I guess we can try... Uh, access might be a little bit tricky, but let's do... Okay, so platform's here. Oh no, the drought is already starting, but that's okay. We don't have to be so on time anyways. 
Oh, actually, never mind. Why don't we do it this way instead? We do have one of those bigger ones as well. We get quite a few blanks, but then again, it might be worth it. Who knows? Right, bringing power over from this side. I guess it really... Well, actually, it doesn't matter which side it is. We shall build you here. Actually, we'll do the levees here. Yeah, let's do the levees first, and then we will see how the water interacts with the this construction over here. Nothing to do in range. Okay, so that means all the scrap metal is out. You can go and work somewhere else for now. Um, <laughs> with these two buildings, do we want to fill you up already without even knowing how our design is going to work out? Not entirely sure, but I think we do want to do these corners as well. Let's pause them for a little while, whilst they're building up the rest of it. Now, oh yeah, that's going to be a lot more levies. I guess maybe we don't have to do the corner pits, because they might not be visible if they are going to be flush with the large warehouses. Maybe. Okay, we shall see. Oh dear, what's going on here? Uh, let's close you as well. Alright, I think we have enough water now. Uh, maybe a couple of dams would be lovely in there. Uh, okay, fine. It's, um, it's okay. Let's have a look. How is stuff going here? Right, so you've managed to put in the platforms. Can we also clear up? I think we want to clear up all those trees, don't we? Yep. It seems we are a bit too far, but that might be because they have to go all the way around. Now, if we get some of these platforms done first, let's, um reprioritize the work over here as well. Now the reason we are building them here is just a bit of extra space for the water pumps. Now with the rest, what are you guys building now? Let's take a quick look as soon as they wake up. Uh, I think it must have been probably yeah, all of those levies in here. Now with the, the location of the district center as well, we probably have to raise yeah, all of this here too. And when it comes to the access here as well, yeah, let's uh, let's fix you up real quick. I don't suppose we are going to access from this side in the future. So what we might do is something like this instead. Okay, couple of ladders and in here we can either do two small warehouses. Out of curiosity, are we able to put platforms over the water tank? No. Okay, so that's a bit of a shame. What about the middle ones? No. Hmm. I guess we can do a platform and then a side platform to cover it up. That could work. Yeah, let's fill this dead space in here. We probably do want to build this one here, actually. Yeah, so then we could climb up all the way there. Now, when it comes to those uh, trees in here as well... We might want to get rid of them, but then... Oh, I see. Okay, so that's not going to be the best decision either. Or option. Uh, well, okay, let's get this built. Uh, we'll have a bit of access, and then... Um, yeah, what we were going to build here... Why don't we do a couple of small storages? Uh, there might be a few buildings that need some logs, so... Yeah, you can, you can take a few logs in there. Uh, I don't think they will get stuck in here. No, they should be fine. Okay, coming back to power. What are you guys building now? Uh, platforms seem to be going in. Then we'll find out if we can get this section done in there. Now, another thing we did want to do was to extend this a little further. Okay, we do have the range for you. And yeah, let's leave you this way. Although there are high chances that they might get stuck on this side. We'll sort it out when it when it does happen. Okay. Unconnected buildings, 15 of you. Oh right, you are out of range a little bit, but, but that's fine. Coming back to the district, we shall wait a little bit whilst they are... Oh, never mind. They're gonna get those levies done right away, it seems. Yep, there's one. Let's do a second one. Then we'll see if we can do it on the other side as well. But okay, now district center... Uh, moving this over is, yeah, as we mentioned before, going to cause some problems. So we'll have to move everything 
somewhere else. So what I'm thinking is we turn this whole area into a farming district instead. All the houses, I mean the warehouses are already going up here. The beaver housing, yes, I like to put them around this little reservoir or lake that we have in here. And I guess in some ways it might, or we might, with a few improvements, we could turn this into sort of like a beaver Venice again. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of you have seen it, but I think it was season two when we built uh, Beaver Venice, uh, which was one of the viewers' requests, and uh, that was actually a really fun build. So that could, yeah, maybe it would make sense in here. I guess we we can try if we redirected some of those canals. Yeah, I'm actually starting to like this idea. Why don't we do... Well, I guess it's not doing it again. We're just going to do it in a slightly a slightly different way. Different kind of Venice on top of a mountain instead. Well, we're not going to build it right away. So let me know what you guys think. And we might just give it a try, actually. I'm sort of starting to like this idea. But anyways, yeah. So the district center. Houses around here. And uh, farms below. Which means we are going to have to move those trees somewhere else. Now, we do have a tiny little farm in here, but that probably is not going to be enough for for all of the production that we would like to have. Now, what I'm thinking is we could use this mountain. Uh, the mountain area could be pretty cool for, for that instead. Now, the problem we are going to have is I guess we are going to have to make some kind of choices pretty, pretty early. So... I think in this episode, we are going to focus less on the efficiency and more on the aesthetics. Because we've already kind of built this in the most efficient way, but then at the same time, since those smelters are right next to the, the ruins over here, then it sort of is efficient, I guess, in a way. I mean, if we do the more efficient recipe for, for the uh, scrap metal, then we are going to need gears, 3D planks and dynamites as well. So what I was trying to say is if our tree plantation is over here, it's going to be quite a hike to go through the living district to carry the logs or wherever we're producing them actually. Yeah. But then again, if efficiency isn't our main goal and we do like them to hike through different areas, then this could be a could be a pretty good idea actually. What we probably will have to do is figure out how we can bring in power into this area as well. But I don't think we have to worry about it too much right now. Right, so the way we can turn this area a bit more green is actually pretty, pretty simple. So all we're gonna need is something we've done so many times already and I'm sure all of you use that trick as well. So let's get one of those water dumps in here with the stream gauge to automate the, the water drop off itself. Yeah, so once this gets built, we can see how big of an area can we keep green. And then based on that, we can just keep, yeah, building a few more automated dumps all over this place. All right, so let's set you up as well. We'll link you like so. Pause. Uh, <laughs> pause when above. If it goes above, let's say, 73 over there. And if you drop below 20, that's when we shall open you again. Okay, so water itself. I think we have quite a lot of beavers actually pumping it out. The storage itself isn't looking very good, though. Okay, so there we go. Roads are now in, but you're still not able to reach all the way there. Interesting. So let's take a look. You can go... <laughs> yeah, it's a little too far away. Well, that's really unfortunate. I didn't want to do this, but if we have to, I guess we could... Yeah, we could do another district. Maybe on this hill somewhere. Okay, I guess we are going to have to leave this little project that we have for, a, for another time. But right now, you guys are not able to build up everything in here. So, <laughs> we do have to walk in here, and perhaps we give you, yeah, stairs over here, so that way we can build everything. Okay, there we go. This section can go, 
and the road itself as well. Right, so back to the tree farm over here. It seems we are getting the first set of water right now, so that's quite a respectable range. What we can do if this will remain like the main road. I guess somewhere here wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Uh, yep, we got stairs over here, could climb over, or we could make it a bit more interesting. Since we have those pillars, why don't we use some of them? Okay, couple of stairs. There we go. Now to cross over, I hope we do have the range though. That's probably one of those things we have not quite checked yet. Okay, now for the pool itself. We could do it here. But I'm not sure how big of a... Well, yeah, that's quite a big range, so... Right, there we go. That's exactly what we shall do over here. Now, will you be able to construct everything? Not sure. Actually, there is another one here. Let's take a look at the range again. So, it's going to be red in here. When the district center moves onto this little building there, that's gonna make our access a little worse, isn't it? Perhaps that is something we need to optimize here a little further as well. Instead of going all the way around, maybe we can cut through right next to the center, cross the building, go down from here, and rebuild the connection. Yeah, we can do it. Uh, well, it's not a problem just yet, so we can leave it for now. For the water dump, hmm, they are very close and sort of overlapping. But I do like how it climbs up from here. It is a pretty big range, so that means it's gonna keep most of the mountain green in here. So yeah, let's leave it in. And what we shall also do... Actually, let's pause these ones for a second. And perhaps you do these sections first. Okay, or do as much as you can at least. Right, all we need to do now is to bring a forest there. Or, actually, we already have one in here. So, if you have nothing to do, why don't we start putting down some trees already? I mean, if they, if we need to rearrange things in here, that will be fine as well. We can always remove the trees and place them elsewhere. So, for now, <laughs> I think in long term, what we'll do is... This will actually be more like the production zone itself with the lumber mills and probably the gear factories as well. And that means everything that's below here, that's probably where we want the actual trees growing. And what I love about this is we can have trees growing underneath the bridge over here. Okay, now let's place a couple more. We can do so, yep, no roads will be, will be needed here, at least for now. And later on, once we get this built... Oh wow, that was actually very quick. So let's do these two as well. Alright, rest of the stairs... Oh, yep, you are not going to be able to complete the top one. So we will need a platform to support you. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, maybe we should already kind of plan this out. Uh, let's take them out. Here we go. Should have left those stairs in here for a couple of trees, actually. Yeah, this might be cool. Okay, let's put it back for a second. And now for the production itself, I do want to leave some trees in the background. Okay, and I guess here it can be a little less nice, I suppose. How many can we build in here? Well, let's have a look. There's a couple... Hmm. Road goes through here. I guess it will be fine. Okay, yep, let's grab a road as well, bring you through, so please do not plant any trees over here. What we could also do is, if we were to use platforms here instead, we could change these roads around a little bit, and have a few more buildings. Okay, we'll pause you for a second, because I think we are getting a little sidetracked. So the main thing we did want to do... And what our priorities should be is actually producing power. Yep. And let's see. I think we need those bottom ones as well. So 
slightly higher priority there. And the second thing we wanted to start constructing was, well, we need to figure out how this power is going to go all the way to the other side. Right. Um, same in here. So you are full. Well, I guess now is going to be a good time to disconnect this whole area. Okay, there you go. You guys can all run somewhere else. And right. So stairs are needed. And I think they're facing this way. You go there. Do we need two of them? I don't think so. But we are going to build them anyways for now. Okay. And yes, the rest of the platforms. I guess in the future we could change them for side platforms as well. Uh, wait a second. Let's take a look. So levees. You go there. You go on this side. <laughs> so whilst we are constructing all of those things in here. I know I did say that. I don't want to connect them up or choose the resources just yet in case we have to move them around but I just remembered that with this update you do get the, some of the resources back so yeah it takes a bit of time to get used to this so what can we place in here ah grilled potatoes right there we go and grilled spatter dog is what we wanted to start storing in here uh, this means Okay, we can maybe cut down these trees over there. Yep, we'll connect you up and then we do have to climb up and down from here as well. This will be easy. Couple of stairs. Alright, perfect. And now roads over here. And I guess we are going to have roads on the riverbank itself. But we shall see if anything changes in the future. Alright, same. We can start extending all these levees. As soon as we change the axis a little bit. Oh, right. We are going to have to change you, of course, as well. Well, okay. I think we built it. Uh, wait a second. What did we just destroy? Not sure. But we destroyed something. I guess I'll find out once I start editing this episode. So, yeah, it's gonna be fine. And a few platforms. All right. And now we should be able to place the wheel. Where is it? Compact. Okay. That tiny one in there. Right. So this section is done. Means we can... No, we wanted to take this one out, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. So what I was thinking... Let's go to side platforms instead. This one is very expensive to build. You require metal as well, so I'd like to avoid it for now. We can do the side one, however, or the second one. Yep, and then after that is done, we can remove... Oh no. Okay, let's try this again. Let's put the small one in here. And I suppose we could do the same in here as well, after we do remove everything else though. Okay, let's try this. And that's going to give us a bit more real estate in this whole area. Um, okay, there we go. Let's do... Change you around very quickly. Uh, do we want stairs in here or maybe no? Let's do a ladder. Okay, side platform as well. And yeah, that's... Uh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Now a few roads to go over. Do we need to climb down from here... Uh, <laughs> they do, but I'd like to change this axis a little bit. Right, few beavers do need some homes as well. Uh, <laughs> well, since you are disconnected right now, why don't we fix this side real quick as well? Okay, there we go. We'll take this one out here. Place down this levee. And now we can use... Well, these metal ones will be nice, but let's use one of the decoration ones. All right, there we go. And now I guess we can give you a slightly higher priority. Uh, this one we cannot highlight, so we have to do it individually. And there we go, those trees are now gone. We can connect you guys up and beautiful. So we should have a lot more. Actually, we are running low on them. Uh, that might be because our population is quite big. Oh wow, totally missed this. 14 spare beavers right now. 11 don't have a home. So we are probably going to need another grill. Okay. 
Uh, right, right, right. Well, this is fairly close to us. Why don't we build a couple grills over here? One of them is going to be pretty low. This one high. And griddle potatoes. Okay, there you go. You're quite full as well, so we do need to give you connection over here. Right. So let's uh, connect you up as well. I'm going to do it this way for now. We can, of course, always change it. We've taken out all the scrap except this one here. Uh, oh, I see. You are actually full, so that's uh, that's okay. So we should be getting access to this area very soon again. I have noticed that the metal is full, or was a second ago. So why don't we build one of these buildings and set you to hold metal blocks. Uh, that means we do have to place... Oh yeah, you are going to need a bit more access. I don't want to change all of this around here. So why don't we pause the... No, let's not pause anything in here. We can pause... Okay, you're already paused. How many metal blocks do you take? Ah, uh, this one's fine as well. And then I think it will be connected up. Yeah, it should be. All we need now is just a road there. Okay. Right, so how are we going? Resources are coming in. Alright. Um, <laughs> I think we can... Yeah, let's do a few more haulers. That's going to help us quite a bit. Now, power-wise, how is stuff going here? So I'm trying to remember... Shall we wait or shall we build you? Okay, we have the resources right now. Where are you guys running? Complaining about water and food. Where are you off then? Okay, you decided to run all the way around. Well, that's fine. Right, another thing we wanted to do was start storing some more water as well. And... hmm. <laughs> Well, that's fine. Let's uh, place you another one here. Yep, that might be fine. It would be good if we get one more somewhere here as well. Okay, do we want the access behind you? Probably doesn't matter. And what about the big one? Oh no, you take metal. So why don't we place two in here? Okay. Grab the same road, connect you up, and there we go. Good, so one of the grills is completed already. The other one... Hmm. Yeah, what are you guys building? This is too far. What do you mean it's too far? Oh, I see. Really? You can't build it from... Oh, I guess it's not like the... Uh, what you call them? Uh, the bridges... Uh, okay, well, easy solution is let's do a, another set of stairs here with the highest priority, so that should be constructed pretty quickly. We are, however, are we going to have the same problem on this side? You should have the access, though. Okay, maybe not. Fine. Let's do another ladder over here as well. And in case you will still complain about it, we will also place one here. Yep, I know it's uh, wasted resources, but just want to make sure, in case I forget about it, we still have all the access that we do need. Probably highest priority for all of them. Can you... you still cannot construct it. Well, let's see what happens once the, once the stairs get done over here. We can't do this one, or maybe we should have just let them climb up from here. Maybe this would have been the cheapest option for us. Okay, well, I think we are going to have maybe some levees here in the future. Nothing to do in range. Let's have a look. What were you... Oh, you were harvesting trees. Uh, I think there's a couple more that you can take down. Okay, there we go. And now we can remove all of these areas. I'd really like you guys to complete this section here if you, if you can. I've given them a slightly higher priority as well. But okay, we shall wait a little bit, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> so with this area over here, it doesn't seem to be greening up this whole area, which is a little sad. Maybe we should have hopped on to the next one instead. What I mean by that is, what about... 
What if we build you somewhere here instead? Yeah, it's quite a few extra resources, but it would be nice if we get this whole hill covered, covered in trees. Yeah. Okay. And now we can leave the water that's in here currently. Okay. Yep. The water gauge will go in there like so. Oh yeah. You, hmm. I guess what we could have also done is maybe if this was a slightly higher level. Also could have been an option. But uh, let's lower you a little bit. We'll take you out. And yeah, this one should be... Should be fine then. Okay. Now what do we need in here? Yeah, I do want to use those bridges for some reason. I guess I didn't get to use them uh, enough in our last series. So perhaps that is why we are choosing to do it this way. Alright, there we go. Now the resources are moving in. And we should be connected up again, right? No. Oh yeah, this one as well. Okay, fine. So what can we do over here? We still have a few beavers that don't have a home. This might be a good time to try out some of the other houses as well. If we did build it a little bit differently here, what we could do... Let's have a look. <laughs> Good to... Yeah, we could build the rooftop terraces in front of the houses. Have the road go through the middle instead. And then houses right behind. But it will be kind of like a wasted space in here, which I don't really fancy. Um, <laughs> well, right now they do need a bit of housing. It is very sad to see them run around without a home. Okay, we'll uh, fix you up, change you around real quick. Let's uh, take these trees out as well. I don't think we want them yeah, in our way right now. And then what we shall do, we have enough logs. The numbers are going down a little bit, but yeah, I think there's enough trees growing. Oh wow, okay. There's a lot of trees growing here. Let's uh, unpause you as well. And another one. You can be built now. Okay, probably want to have another one somewhere a little bit closer, but I think for now we're okay. Cool. So, back over here. Let's uh, take those trees out next. And that section here will be good to complete as well. Just want to make sure that we can push all of that water through that one zone. Alright, and then I'm not sure if we have to place any levees in front of it. I don't think so, but I'm also not entirely sure, so you can go here. Sorry, I mean we can unpause this this one now. We'll try and get it built before we put the levees in, in this corner instead. Okay, cool. So that section seems to be done now. What we can do is let's remove all of these roads. Okay, well-being. Rooftop terrace. We can do one here and this one there. Okay, that's pretty good. And a few more levees here. Okay, and now we just need a couple of houses. I think these ones will fit here. Hmm. A little bit better. But at the same time, it will be cool to build it like so instead. Yeah, let's do this one. Right, so the large water wheel is finally in. And in about 1.4 days, we... What do you mean, out of range? Uh, is it because we've built this wheel over here? And you now... Hmm, I see what has happened. Now the next thing we probably will want to do in here is power lines. Oh yeah, since we still have the drought right now. <laughs> well, we do have some roads and things we need to fix up, so... I guess what we could do is to place at least... Hmm, they might want to walk through as well. No, they won't. Okay, let's build a couple of you guys. 
Okay, there we go. I think we will be able to swap a few things around here now. So, first of all, yeah, I'm not sure if we want to place hmm, anything underneath. But uh, let's do it uh, one step at a time. Right, so levees will go over there. And that should block it in. And very soon we shall find out if and uh, how much power we might gain from this. Now, in the future, what we can also do, we can run up the power lines directly from here. And then switch over onto this road instead, bring it down. Okay, yep. Cool, so first house is already in place, second one not too far off. And beautiful. Rooftop terraces as well, to overlook at this, this beautiful canal that we have. 2.5, I think it's fine. We will most likely start flooding these areas, but since we do have access from that side, I think you can be constructed right away as well. Okay, let's do it. And no, you should be fine because we can construct you from both sides. Uh, what might be a problem though, I can just see someone going to the middle and getting stuck over there instead. All right, so the floodgates are now complete. The drought itself has finished as well. So we shall find out how the power wheel is going to do, or the water wheel. And, hmm, doesn't look like we're still pumping out enough water right now. But we do have some spare beavers. Oh, you are out of range now. Pretty sure we had the range here before. Oh no, these buildings were paused actually, weren't they? Hmm, but did we change anything? No. Uh, everything seems to be the same still. Okay, well, I guess we will leave you as it is. I mean, we can do a few more water pumps on this side. Yep, yeah, this could be... Could be fine. I think, yeah, we have the range all the way till here. So, how are we doing here? Filling up slowly but surely. Uh, metal... Yeah, we got more metal than the gears. Uh, but that's really far away. Hmm. Well, on another thought, actually, since we do have this metal right now, and I don't think we are saving it for anything particular, so why don't we start placing some of these metal platforms already? Yeah, I think it would be fine, wouldn't it? I mean, we can't reach the top ones. And that's a very good point, actually. This means we cannot construct anything here unless we let them climb up onto the top one. Oh, right. Okay. Well, hmm. I suppose we could do it from the corners. Yep, let's take those trees out in, in those locations for now. I mean, we got enough trees right now. And perhaps you will be a slightly higher priority as well, because we have so many trees in here. Right, why did we mark everything for harvesting? I think we did. Well, most of it at least. Now, I have not marked the trees that are right next to the river or the water itself. I just want to make it, you know, keep a few trees around for decoration purposes. Right, so you are full. Water is flowing through. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's spinning like crazy. How consistent is it, though? Okay, seems to be going up. Looking quite okay so far. Now, I wonder if there are any ways to make it more efficient and constant. Well, I guess if all the water went through the same way. But right now it's also flowing and filling up this area, which might be a little dangerous. Yeah, we do have a few more levees that need to be built over here. Okay, and in this zone, I think we have the same problem. Alright, there we go. One of you first, because otherwise you will get stuck for sure. I guess we have to put uh, another floodgate on the opposite side for the time being. You will be asking for a bit of access very soon. 
And okay, let's do it differently instead. I'm sure they are going to get stuck. Uh, <laughs> and this one will have to go sideways because I'm sure as soon as the first one is built, someone will run over and start constructing other things and the next thing you know is that someone is going to be stuck in here. Okay, right. Well, the platforms, they've built all of them already. Okay, and we have another lumberjack here as well. Once we get those trees out, I think we might be... Oh no, these are three levels up, which means... Oh uh, no, we're fine. We'll do the platform to this side, but in here... Uh, okay. Yep, another tree has to go, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got tons of them around this whole area. Okay, cool. So... That is starting to go pretty pretty nicely already. Yeah, all we need now is to figure out which side are we connecting all the power from. And once all of this gets done as well... Oh yeah, I think we have to be pretty quick about this. So... <laughs> they do have to climb up on these levees. And we need to change the floodgate over here. Okay. Highest priority for you. And I guess we can fix up this road a little bit as well. I don't think we are going to have the access. Yeah, crossing from here. So get this done. As soon as it's complete, we can change you around. Alright. Speed you up a little bit. Because I don't, don't think there's anything else we need to construct right now. Uh, unless you are doing some stuff over here for some reason. No, it should be okay. Oh uh, no, they're still doing that stuff. Okay, so... What we should have done is mark everything here with a slightly high priority. I'd say the access... Yeah, you guys are pretty good. Uh, hold on a second. The next thing we should have actually constructed... Almost forgot about it is the batteries. Yeah, we're not going to do anything crazy just yet, but it would be very handy if we store up a little bit of power. Right, so for that, hmm, do want to pass it over and through. There isn't a lot of space in here. Well, if you are going through, that might be fine. On the ground level... No, it's going over the levees, of course. Uh, right, right, right. So, let's unlock this one in here. And you are gonna go into this corner. After that, you shall go straight up from here. And then what we do have to do in here... Hmm, do we really have to go up higher a little bit? Oh yeah, we've got those roads... Roads everywhere. Maybe if we rearrange you a little bit, that would mean we no longer need those sections. Yep, and climbing up and down from here. Oh. Okay, no, you can still go from here, so that's fine. Uh, so many things to do. I'm getting distracted every five seconds, it seems. Right, so there isn't a lot of water right now. Okay, so double floodgate over here with the highest priority. And you guys are constructing up all of this as well. Uh, which means you can now be constructed. This one is not flooding just yet. Okay. That is very good indeed. Do you need roads as well? Probably you will. So that's going to be done pretty, pretty quickly. I would like to fix this one up in here as well. But I don't think... Oh yeah, we might be able to. Right, so off you go, because all the water is flowing through this zone right now anyways. We need a triple one. It is too far, of course. Okay, a uh, simple fix. Just a double platform, highest priority. And the height we want to have, yes, it is 2.5. We don't need to construct this right now. I think we have slightly higher priorities over here. Oh dear, the drought is already uh, arriving very soon. 
no recipe selected. Okay, so this one's going to do grilled spatter dog because we do have a lot of space. And I think, uh, yeah, you guys are still harvesting and farming. No, you're just sitting around. Oh, I see, because you're full. Okay, fine. Now everything should be fine again. And I think, yeah, very soon we'll tidy up this area in here as well. It's just not a big priority right now, I suppose. Okay, so how is this canal going? Stairs are almost done. Oh yeah, someone is definitely going to get stuck in here. So let's give you a very high priority as well. Very close to completion, so... Should be fine soon. Metal still low. But I think we can also start constructing the stairs. Okay, you can go here. And we did need a platform as well. Right, this one is already done. So all we need is the stairs themselves. And I think now you might be able to construct it. I guess we will find out very soon. But we just don't have the metal to complete the whole thing right now. Okay, so it is lovely to see that we have a bit more water in the tanks now. Now, houses are up here. We've got the food. Bit of en entertainment. Not a lot, but we do have a little bit. With uh, this side over here, I think we have to use some of that space for the campfires. Or maybe the campfires can be just down here. That could be a pretty cool as well if they are in the forest. Because all of those trees are moving over. Yeah. Okay, so since we do also have a few spare beavers right now. What we can do, if we find a good spot for you. Okay, we'll do one for the time being. Right. Uh, these ones we cannot construct. Oh, I do see why. It is just a little too far out of the reach, it seems. Okay, so, well, we're not really growing any trees right now, so now you should have the access. All right, back over here. Uh, yeah, it fluctuates quite a, quite a bit, but it seems this section is now done. We're putting some water into here and to the other side. Oh, I see why. Yeah, there's uh, water going both ways. Or is it? It is not. Maybe we do have to set up a... Uh, kind of an automated system here as well. Let's see if this has... No, I'll probably have to think about it for a little while before we start playing around with the automation over here. Okay. Yep, so that's good. We've got the got some of the power infrastructure already in place all we need now is just connect them up and bring the power lines all the way to the other other side as well now this side over here yeah it's gonna take quite a quite a bit of metal to connect them up the way we would like to however there are solutions we can try as well such as going from the side until we have enough metal I mean, we do have the beavers right now. We could ramp up this production, but it's just that we don't have enough power. Actually, with another four beavers, we could also, if we grab this road, let's go all the way here. Oh, yeah. We might have to change this around a little bit as well. Let's have a look. How far can we go? Well, pretty far, actually. Yep, there we go. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. We shall fix you up. Well, I guess we're not going to place one here. Or if we make it one tile further, then we might be able to let the beavers walk through the middle. We might be. But then that's not going to help us too much. Yeah, no. Okay. So let's do it this way instead. And yes, we're not going to place one in here, but it, it's fine. Okay, that means you are going to have to go as well. We'll put a T-junction here instead for now. And then we just see how it goes. And you should probably do the wires first. Okay, so I do know that we have been all over the place in this episode. Trying to upgrade everything everywhere at the same time. But I think it's been pretty good progress so far. We are slowly starting to move the beavers up to the, to the mountain here instead. So now we actually have 16 spare beds, which means we could start closing some of the furthest houses over there like so. So here's one, and then as we place a few more extra houses here, 
we can uh, do the same with the other houses down below as well. Just pause them, close them, and uh, right over here as well on this little hill, as soon as we are happy with the location where we are going to place the lumber mills, we can pause the other ones and bring all of that production over here as well. So once that is done, what it means is we can move the district center over, put it on this little platform over here, and yeah, everything should be fine. I think that's something we can probably have completed in the next episode. So yeah, this one's been pretty long already as well. Let's cut the episode over here and we'll continue our progress in the next episode. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon.